So where's the compromise? I mean, his policies were on the ballot. He said so himself. And the voters considered those policies and made a choice. And that's why the results of the 2012 elections are so important. Oh, were you thinking some other year? This year, for instance? After all, we do keep hearing that the losing side in 2014, by which they mean uh, President Obama, is supposed to compromise, supposed to respect the will of the voters. So where was all that compromising from the Republicans when they lost in 2012, or for that matter, in 2008? And it wasn't just Obama's policies on the ballot back then, but his name, too, against an actual Republican opponent, first John McCain and then Mitt Romney. The will of the voters? Millions more voters came out in those presidential elections than in these latest midterms. And Obama's victory margin both times was undeniable, or so you'd think. In fact, compared to those presidential mandates, last week's low turnout off-year results were more like a grunt, a, a belch of discontent. But elections have consequences, right? Sure. So uh, let's list all the ways the GOP compromised with Obama after his big wins. Yeah, that's what I came up with, too. But this time, after the Republicans did well, Obama's supposed to pack it in, wait for the moving vans. Doing anything else, they say, would poison the well for bipartisan cooperation. Poison the well. Because the well's been so pure and clean up to now, right? And anything toxic in the water down there, it's Obama's fault. And not, say, the Republicans who vowed on the very night he was first inaugurated, this has been reported, you understand, and never denied, vowed to oppose whatever the new president proposed, even if they used to agree with it. Think that might have poisoned the well? Or all those prominent Republicans who continued for years to question the basic legitimacy of Obama even holding office. What do you mean, born in Hawaii? He's a Kenyan, a Kenyan uh, socialist, Muslim, terrorist mole. While other major Republicans, party leaders, did virtually nothing to stop that kind of talk for years. Think that might have poisoned the well? Right. So uh, spare me the sanctimony and the civics lessons. If Obama's finally realized he can't work with you and doesn't even want to, go look in the mirror. Or better yet, go look at your reflection at the bottom of that well.